my third and final update for the month of December on the design system for Plasma. With the design system uh, and all the news that we have put out, a few interested parties have reached out to us and we're grateful to them for their, for, for their work. And uh, most recently, some of our team members, uh, Michael, uh, if you're listening to this, thank you so much. Um, we contacted the, uh, the team at uh, PenPod and we discussed some of the things that where we, where we would be a good match or fit for them uh, as a platform and what we intend to do for the community. The PenPod team eventually uh, set out uh, to, well, eventually the PenPod team created a couple of meetings for us to introduce themselves and to also collaborate with the rest of our team. They also put out new uh, new videos on YouTube that uh, specifically target some of the questions that we've had so far with the creation of a design system. See, the main thing here is that you have to realize with the, pro with the, with the creation of a design system, which we already have, but it's in its infancy, we have to scale it up to public consumption. And that's not an easy thing to do. And there is a lot that we have to think about when it comes to this. Eventually, our goal is that Plasma has a public design system like many other companies do, uh, other communities as well, and that it's consumed by regular users who are interested in building high fidelity uh, des uh, design for Plasma, uh, maybe for their applications or maybe for them suggesting new changes for our work, what have you. And we don't have that today. What you saw in our previous video with our, uh, our Figma implementation, that is a, mis a mixed bag because it contains uh, elements from a different design system that we're not using, plus our own, plus many of the uh, elements that we have left behind. So it's a very messy location to keep our stuff. And it, it is not ready for prime time. Not only that, Figma is not a open source project and it's basically unknown to us whether they, it will remain, their free tier will remain available to people for many more years to come. Um, we love the work they've done, but we also have to think that there are other places that um, a, an open source project can live in that is much more uh, accessible to everyone. And we want to make that jump. So with the help of our, uh, our friends at PenPod, they are very excited to help us out in this transition. They are also understanding that maybe today, PenPod does not support all of the elements that our design system contains. And one of those is very apparent in our icons. Some of our icons don't have the support for the shape creations that we've made in Figma. They don't translate the same in, in, uh, in PenPod. Uh, the team has also, well, the team at PenPod has acknowledged that these changes are needed and they let us in on a couple of secrets or maybe not so secret, but not public just yet, in which they're working for their system. They're trying to implement amazing things and a few of those elements are going to not just resolve the issues that we have in transitioning our design system to PenPod today, but enhance them even further than other applications that we have used. I'm so excited for that and I wish them luck. They have also provided us with training and um, are going to join our Plasma Next channel in Matrix so that they can help us more closely. Um, so. We've been very, very grateful for the fruits that this connection has has given us. Um, we have submitted a few tickets for for uh, improvements to them on their system, and they've let us know that they are going to prioritize these tickets and you know basically put them in the right location. They are also a small and open source team, so we, you know, they're splitting their work into many, many different people and. Um, 
and many stakeholders and so there uh, being a small team they can't really you know give everybody their dues but we understand and we are just happy that they have you know such understanding of what we do here at plasma and how awesome our partnership will be what that means is that eventually we will move all of our assets from the design system that we have in figma to penpod and when we do it in penpod we will organize and publish these design system uh, components and foundations and then people will use uh, a different uh, you, you know uh, measure of PenPod, a different plan where they can use our assets but not necessarily intervene our assets and not only that we can have a, a core team of uh, graphical designers on our side that can basically make updates to our libraries that we publish and make it um, make it better for everybody to use and so amazing things coming our way uh, PenPod is a great platform it's growing daily uh, and so far we have been able to move our our colors to the to them and some of our shadows and some of our blurs and not our icons yet just because I mentioned earlier we still have some work to do but it's coming and another thing is um, we also have our assets library so we put in all of our typography and our colors well our colors sorry my bad Whereas our colors are still coming but they are there so very happy to see this work and in the future apparently there is going to be more types of tokens that are will be available to to be saved onto the system so that's what we have so far on our penpod collaboration if you're interested in participating in this work, you're welcome to reach out to us in our uh, usual channels. If you go to kitty.org or just Google um, uh, Visual Design Group at Plasma, you should be able to find us and find all of our channels. Thanks so much.